We love okay, hip-hop. Well, salute once again. Yes, thank you. As far me. as what happened with me this week, I went viral. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know. did, you did. We you know, did. duh. Right? Seen you on Six Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little, little viral. Yeah. Right? Um, basically, Drizzy Drake, he jumped under the comments of yep. one of my posts. Yep. And I was talking about most deaf getting married. Yeah. You mentioned the ring pop thing. Mm. That was a thing. I know. That was part of the story, fam. <laughs> what? He got. He gave her a ring, ring pop. pop, bro. That's oh, why I no. said it. The Bohemian bucket. <laughs> Come on, guys. He proposed with a with a. He would a fucking ring, ring pop. pop well, now I gotta blank out my own damn curses. <laughs> but but yeah, he gave her a damn ring pop, bro. <laughs> Slow, actually bro like yeah bro, actually <laughs> yeah broski Textbook. and she accepted everybody's on e right at that point you're like yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's get married yo yo your most deaf impression was actually funny <laughs> let's get married yo let's get married yo so uh, this post here that i have on the screen that post has been moving around, bro. Got that, around that like specific around. thumbnail, mm -hmm. and I got the, I got the. Where the hell is the comment? Did he delete the comment? Who? Trizzy. It should be at the top. I got. I it. have it pinned. I got it. Um. The boy. Whoa. I know you got a screenshot of it. Though. I got the I, screenshot. <laughs> I got the screenshot. I won't lie. But uh, maybe, cause, maybe it's because of all the talk. Yeah, it? he got he gave us too much motion. Wow! <laughs> you don't even need to come here now. <laughs> this gets Hold to nurse. Hold on. He threw you a little alley oop, and, and he just left again. Yeah, bro. Well, I'm checking through my phone. <laughs> it's like, a little is that a whole, well, 48 hours. Yeah, that's first, no, the fam, first that was up longer than that. Yeah, but. It made people because so much people were tagging him after and calling him all types of things because they couldn't. Have, a lot of Americans were in the comments really offended. Yes. By what? Yes. Well, he jumped in the comments them. after the story. <laughs> and look no, at the man he, he's posting he right now. If he comments on something and then you pin it and then you keep receiving comments, does he get notified? Of course. Yeah. So that's probably you know, every like, reply. Every yeah. reply, every comment. And, every and mans are like, you're a pump pump and this and that. Yo, Regin, I'm not going to take that all day. Eh? Yeah. Turn this off, Regin. Well, I'm this and I'm that. And I'm the I'm I'm, I'm checking through my phone to see in the, the responses. Oh no, it's still there. It's still there. Okay, okay. It's still there. It says Bohemian Bucket. Bucket. All right. And that's what set off the friggin' internet trend. It went nuts. And you know what? I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I helped a little bit. Like I'm not gonna just sit there and just have the comment just lingering and not do nothing about it. Like I contacted a few people, said, yo, you see this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right and so like, i'm not we're not just gonna give the internet all the credit like no, I did as my you work. should as you should you bro. kill me you <laughs> right? kill me <laughs> no, you i'll, kill me I'll be specific yeah. i hit up adam i was like, like yo, yo I, uh, madam 22 you see this <laughs> yeah got the boy in the and i explained to him what bucket meant yeah i our... said bucket means addict in yeah. in toronto yeah. slang yeah that's, that's the exact sure. yeah. words know. that i told him <laughs> and the next thing you know no jumper freaking Drake posts calling um, most of a bohemian bucket, which means attic in Toronto slang. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, <laughs> use my translation. Thanks. He's right? done. And I then it continued from there. It just kept on going. Fam. Yeah. Fam, there was an article that I pulled up. Um, actually, I didn't pull it up. One of my homies hit me up in the, in the DMs in our old school Montreal group chat. <laughs> okay. Mm. He hit me up and he was like, yo, bro, there's an article on you right now. Mm. Right. Yeah. Um, it's courtesy of rap, um, hip hop news. Oh yeah. Seen it. See, I want to pin it into um, the thing here. Give me a second. I should have prepared myself a little bit more. Uno momento. We got viral Ricky. <sighs> Bro, <laughs> my phones didn't AKA stop ringing, Ricky. fam. Wouldn't stop. I'm watching these people comment and going like arguing in. This. Bro, I was like, wow. Yo, yeah. I had people hit me up. <laughs> yo, yo, Ricky's fit. Like, Dr Drizzy commented on Ricky's stuff. He's blowing up right now. I'm like, yeah, like, Red, but the man, the man, uh, no, about the boy you know, always yeah. puts his little one-two nudges on the pages, all the yeah. here and there. Like, and it's not the first time he's commented comment on, on, the on our shit. Yeah, yeah. But the, what kills me is that when he throws us to alley you. And we reverse it, like boom, dunk mm. it, right? It's like the whole place does go mad. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? And I, it like it kind of it kind of like substitute. Like if he he doesn't really he want, he has to come here, mm. but it's like if he doesn't here yet, it's pretty cool that you can do that and like yeah. get the place bugging. So thank you, still thank you, Drake. 
No, salute to, salute to Jersey Drake, man. Thank I sent him a DM on that too, man. But yeah. um, it says here Drake is um Drake is in a feud with Yasin Bay following Bay's comments about Jersey's music being comp- um com- compatible with shopping. Obviously, the Canadian megastar doesn't like this, and as a pre- as previously reported, he has responded um to the legend. Now, however, it seems like things are getting much more personal. Recently, the artist found a We Love Hip Hop podcast episode in which Toronto music executive Kofi Friday Carmichael spoke on Bay's um, history in the city. In fact, um, Carmichael detailed uh, a time Bay got, um, Bay married a woman from Toronto after meeting her um just one weekend. As Carmichael describes, they, they're killing my guppy. You're the guppy, bro. I was going to say, Kofi <laughs> making him look like a simpty dim. Holy smoky. As Carmichael described, um, this is all This all happened after an ecstasy-influenced drug binge. Wow. Yo, when he comes back here, he is going to light us up. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. like, fuck Toronto. Man. Yeah, fam. There was a few times I felt like tagging him on, on Twitter. Or yeah. X, Donor and I just like you know what I don't Donor know. He's seen Donor it for sure though. He's still you think he's seen it? Yeah, of course he's seen definitely, this. bro. Of course he's seen it. Does he remember? <clears throat> Do you remember the time? <laughs> the time you married a woman in Toronto after meeting her for like a weekend? You definitely remember that. Yeah, but then she ran away. Oh, she ran away. She ran back. To, she ran back here. Yeah, he went back to the states. Um, it didn't work out. I, I'm not yeah. going to go into the details because they go into a lot of details in this yeah. article here. Mm. And I still want to be very respectful. respectful to the, right? So yeah. I'm not going to go into the details of who yeah. it was and Ray Tay Tay. Yep. So, Zar, don't ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right now, I cannot I tell you. Because I, like, I, I know you're wondering, who is it? Who is it? Like, don't ask. No, I did my Googles, but, you know. <laughs> this is her past <laughs> Google. Like, I did my Google. This is her <laughs> past Google. Like, no, this is like, she put out a book. <laughs> yeah, she put out a book. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, in the, it's in the internet zeitgeist. It, it, it could easily be found. <laughs> yeah. But for a lot of these people who have been covering this, and you know, salute to no jumper, salute to Joe Button podcast. They were talking about the comment earlier when I was listening in the car, right? Wow, um, I know. <laughs> but what they keep on forgetting is the reason why he called him a bohemian bucket. Yeah, it's not because of the hip hop comment. No, it's because of the story. The story. Mm-hmm. He knows the story. You know what I'm saying? Man, probably seen the comment and said, yeah. <laughs> "I remember, remember that." This? Yeah, man gave him some zebos. Yeah, half an hour later he was dancing on tables. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, man, the, the nigga who <laughs> gave him the zebos hit me up too and said, "That was me." <laughs> right? right. So like, he probably seen the story. Or, you know, heard me retelling the story and was like, oh, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How is this guy talking so stout, stout about me? me? And he's out there being a bohemian bucket. Exactly. That's madness. Yeah. So this whole thing about the whole Drake being hip hop. Let me ask you guys. It is, And I'm going to be having a conversation later on um, yeah. this evening. I'm going to. Um, insert it into this episode yeah. with Glasses Malone. You know who Glasses Malone? Of course, is? I love Glasses Malone. Yes. He was going that's crazy. A, that's West Side. Yeah. I was going to see if I could time it to get it in here, or get him in here earlier, but I wanted oh, to get, damn. I, get a quick conversation with him later. Not an interview, conversation, conversation. about this whole Drake being hip hop. Because yeah, he was he's on, on his, it. He's, he's on like, it. Drake's not hip hop because yeah. of uh, him being from here. Yeah. Hip hop being coming from the hood. Um, and, you know, also hip hop is, you know, putting people on to the different things that happen from the place that you come from. Is Drake not doing that? By hip hop being those, let's say hip hop being those definitions. Is Drake hip hop? Yeah, but that's hip hop and those definitions right like, even in those definitions is drake hip hop is what i'm asking you i think he's hip hop and beyond but if you're talking about hip hop in terms of like the five pillars like b-boying and graffiti and uh, like old school stuff like obviously he's not like you know what i'm saying spinning on his head but yeah. i think he is hip hop and i think he's also beyond hip hop in the sense where i don't want to say he's larger than hip hop but he's kind of on his own lane like he's he's the biggest hip-hop yeah exactly and he's the biggest uh mainstream hip-hop artist that i think we've ever seen in history right there's a Mm -hmm. difference between rap and hip-hop and Mm -hmm. hip-hop yes Mm -hmm. rap is the thing that you do hip-hop is what you live thank you okay so this is my follow-up question can you only be hip-hop if you're rapping about certain things and does that mean it's only limited to people who maybe are from uh disenfranchised communities or who lived like a gangster life is that only 
hip hop. Because obviously there are non-gangsters who are hip hop, you mm -hmm. know, for example, Mos Def, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. more on the conscious tip. Yeah. But like, I feel like it depends if, if your definition is limited to just gangster rap as hip hop, then you, Drake is obviously not that, right? Yeah. Well, I they don't think it's limited to that, but no. that's what Glasses Malone whole thing but was. Glasses right? Malone comes from a culture of gang banging. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think also the Bay Area. Right, the Bay, and he's he's right. from uh, Los Angeles, like Los the Watts, Angeles, uh, Watts, and all, that. and all that shit. Yeah, so see, that's mm, the activity that he came up hearing. Mm. The music he came up hearing is completely different from the music Drake came up listening to. Right, mm. so he's not gonna see Drake as the way he wants to see Drake. I could understand that. So, mm -hmm. but where where it comes into it is that remember when LL Cool J, LL Cool J was what? He was a pop star, if you really take it in. <laughs> well, so, he made very popular songs. Very, and same thing with Drake. So right. he wasn't considered hip hop? LL Cool J, like when he was they at his peak? They, they, they tried to say that after at like something like a phenomenon and those when those records came out. Mm. He was put in a, a pop. Category. Right about that. Still, they started to give LL Cool J the, mm -hmm. he's the, you know what it is? It wasn't pop only. It was pop, mm -hmm. but it was called the crossover the at crossover. the time, mm -hmm. right? Back yeah. in the days, salute to EPMD, yep. right? They had a song called the crossover, the crossover, right? Yep. Um, and it was like anytime a rapper becomes super popular, yep, and you start getting that mainstream attention, yep, it was like, oh, you crossed over, yeah, and you it's sold like, out. Did you sold out? That was the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sold big out. time. That was a big word back so, in the days. Pretty much is what most Def is trying to say is that our the boy sold out. Mm. Right? And it's because he's selling out shows and he's selling out in Target. I who does not want to hear yo, you wouldn't want your mom walking walking in Target and goddamn your song playing in Target, dog? Of course, bro. I That's want you in the elevators list hearing me. I want you, I don't taking a shit. I want you hearing me. What if it's not intentional? And it's not. And that's what these rappers see. That's where I'm saying he can't see this man has now elevated hip hop mm. to where they would hear us before and be like, what the hell is this boobity bobbity bullshit? Now they're like in there's group. You'll see the old lady grooving to Drake like, I like mm. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't tell me nothing. Yeah. It's just that he never got to do that. Yeah. And uh, uh, you went and did some bohemian bucket shit and then <laughs> and mess yourself up, dog. It's not my fault. Our guy, our guy is like, you know what I mean? Prepared. He got, he got real street niggas around him telling him, don't do that. Don't do this. You crazy. You looking to look crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. They just can't take it that we're, we're ahead of our game and we could put, we're thinking like, okay, light years ahead of these, some people and being like, yo, let's get it in target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not my fault. We smarter. Yeah. What I would compare it to is like, say you had a, a burger shop and it's just one burger shop. Then you have McDonald's. Yeah. You know, you'd be like, oh, our burgers are more like authentic and we have one location. Yeah. But McDonald's is everywhere because there's obviously like a proven formula success. Right. Mm. I think it's the same thing with like this conversation. Yeah. But I would I would hate to say that about the boy, like as if he's Walmart. You know what I mean? He's Walmart. You got to put things around him for it to blow up. Yeah, whatever he does is going yeah. to pop. So he's but that Walmart comparison, careful with that, because careful. that's what homie was saying. He's like, Target. Yeah, he's Target with an edge. But he's saying because of the... So him. many schemes. And you know what? If you really watch that interview, <laughs> that was just something for us to click on. What, the most deaf or the Yassin yeah. interview? Yeah. What you... Okay. That's what I'm saying. Pull that up. And you hear what he's really speaking about. No, but I understand, like what he was talking about with the whole bigger picture bigger picture but the thing is that i feel that a lot of people are miss or are, are, yes. are, are looking over or overlooking is his attitude when they asked him about drake it's it's like the discomfort that the man had like oh, why are you doing this <laughs> yeah, he even yeah, said yeah. those said words. words why are you doing why this, this? because he knows one that's gonna go viral yeah and his opinion it's not gonna be the most favorable yeah. And that's why it's going to go viral. If he was going to say, oh, you know what, Drake? Oh, I love Drake. You know, it's it's great music. Um, I do consider it hip hop, but it's also super mainstream. No problem. That's not going viral. We're yeah. not having a conversation. He's not. There's no bohemian bucket. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. But when you go, oh, oh, 
why'd you do this? Yeah. He's got this new weird accent that he's doing now. And yeah. he's like, cause he lives in some little, uh, remote place. Yeah. He's a world, he's a world traveler. He's a worldly, now, right? he's a worldly man now. He and he's like, you know, so many skews, my nigga, I don't care if you're saying my shit is the hottest. You're now giving me a backhanded compliment, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't even a backhanded compliment. It's like you're literally dissing, fam, with your fucking energy. So you're saying, Drake, see Drake actually addressing it. You're saying gave him an alley oop too. That too, fam. He put, he put him back. He put him back on our on our uh, on the radar. On the radar. Yeah. yeah but the, the it's problem, true. Who was talking about most death before this? We were talking Nobody. about most, you. I, I, you low key might have brought him back, bro. <laughs> he, brought the, he brought the Bohemian <laughs> Bucket back. The Bohemian Bucket is back. I was like, you should drop a, 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 a song called Bohemian Bucket. And he's going to. But I for, when I first seen him do that, when I first seen him do that, I was like, oh, Drake gonna eat you alive, boy. But I didn't know how he was gonna do it on our page. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come up. I thought it was gonna be on a song or something. I was like, I was like, I was even like, to, I was like talking to one of the men. And I'm like, nah, he gonna put it on a song or something about him. You know what I'm saying? Well, he did post a story post of like a microphone in yeah. a, in a, in a in front of a bunch of windows and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. something about you know something about getting back to it or something like that. Or, He's on his ass now. He he might he might have some bars for for. Oh, he got some. Oh, he got some. I hope he goes on the flipping black star beat. One of them. <laughs> but <laughs> doing <laughs> that. Mathematics. <laughs> 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 ass on it. Drake on a primo. <laughs> yeah, like just whoops <laughs> his ass. They did flip it. But you see that right there. It's what we do now in the new age, right? Like you don't drop the song first. You get on the internet and you do some internet tactic, whether it's a comment. Like Drake doesn't have to do a story post for you or no. get on get on live and start going crazy. He just has to put a comment on whoever's. It didn't even have to be my comment section. It could be whoever's comment section. And people are going to be like, what? I want to know what he was doing when he wrote Bohemian Bucket. Like, what was he? Like, was he, you know what I mean? Was he sitting on the edge of his bed? Was he just chilling? Like, was he in his in his house in the basketball court? Like, when he wrote, I want to know. Because you got to take in, the man has to watch the story. Yeah. Listen to all the slides and be like, where was he? Bucket. <laughs> What's Where? wrong with this Bohemian Bucket? Well, that's him walking, going through the elevator of his house or something. Dog. He follows you, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's how he's, because his IG is probably like crazy, like 99 plus, like likes, DMs, yeah. right? So for him to see that, it probably resonated with him enough to be like, yeah, like Bohemian Bucket. Like, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And then he, has, he knows the mandem are around him too. That would know about it too. So. Yeah. And I'm, I'll insert the story in the freaking <laughs> most deaf Toronto marriage alright because there was a book written where his name was in this book so back then and Drizzy was around back then too this is 2005 this is not the 90s from one nigga seeing that we were like way shoot okay we were using that, that term back then waste man Wow, that's how Umi says it's moving? Damn. Way shoot. So I can understand now why Drake, no matter how much of a legend that most Def is, or aka Yasin Bey, can say, you know what? I could talk to him however I want. Way shoot. We remember you when you were back here in Toronto. Moving like a simp. You know what I'm saying? Eyes all pupil dot dilated. Running. Ah, ah, oh. You want to get married? Sure. <laughs> right? We don't have to replay the whole story no. with freaking what happened and all that stuff. But yeah. salute to the boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We hold him down. Yeah. They want to see, at least for once, Toronto holds down something. Yeah, well, you know I mean? sort, sort of, kind of, sort of, because those comment section was kind of mixed. A lot of people were like, yo, you're a dick writer. Do, 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 yeah, do, yeah, but they're talking to you. They're not talking about him. Let's Listen, just be real. A lot of people don't feel that Drake is hip-hop, fam. That's a, a big debate, bro. We love hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.